Hi everyone. Today we are going to be drawing a frog in a pond. What you will need is paper, a black marker, a pencil, and crayons, and that's it. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, everybody, we are going to get started drawing the frog in the pond. And um, you can get crayons out, a black marker, a pencil and eraser, and I've used these paper clips to hold the paper together. And I'll tell you why. Sometimes it's easier when you're drawing to use a couple pieces of paper that are together so that it softens the paper. Um, and also so when you use crayons, you're not getting the surface of the table that's below you. Um, you just have a nice soft surface. So I've got a couple pieces of paper that are paper clipped together. And I'm gonna be starting out with this pencil. I'm gonna do the entire drawing in the pencil, and then I'm gonna go over it with a marker. And then I'm gonna erase all the, uh, the pencil lines that I don't want um, to see. And just remember to always ask an adult in the house if it's okay for you to use a, a black marker, okay? Okay, so we're gonna get started, and we're gonna be using our paper in this format versus this way. We're gonna be using it this way, okay? So the first thing that we're going to draw is a big oval right in the middle of the paper. And so you're just going to be taking your pencil and you're going to be drawing a big oval like that. Okay. Now the second thing is you're going to be following this, this top of this oval line with another line that goes like this, another curved line that looks like that. And then we're gonna be drawing the eyes of the frog and they're gonna be poking out like this. One there and one there. And then we wanna give him legs. His legs are gonna go like this. And his other leg is like that. And then we can go ahead and give his eyes their eyeballs. And you can just draw some big circles right in here another one over here. Come all the way to the side of that line and that line. Make two big circles. And then these legs are folded back behind him. So you want to give him the front of his leg and the back of his leg. So do two curved lines like that. And then frogs have some really cute designs on their bodies. So at this point, come down and make a line like that, and then do a line right next to it like that. And over here, same place at the, where this eye ends, come down, and then do another line right next to that. And then we're going to be giving his front legs some lines. So down here where this and this point are, make a curved line up, and a curved line up, and then make some curved lines right next to those, like that, and like that, okay? So now we're gonna do some more details on his eyes. You wanna give him some little irises. They can look like that, almost like a football. And do the same thing over here, like that. Okay, and then frogs have lots of spots on them. They're kind of, they kind of poke up a little bit. So we're gonna draw those in, and you can just do some random spots. You don't have to do a lot, just maybe like every once in a while do, um, you know, a spot that's like a half a spot, so it looks like it's there, or maybe one there. And then we can do some in this section. So little, little spots, little circles. And then we'll do some of those down in his legs too, some circles down here. Don't have to do a lot, but just to give him some cute spots on his body. And just do like little half circles like that. And maybe some on these legs too. Okay. 
Now we're going to be drawing his feet. These feet are really fun to draw. You're going to be drawing three lines for each foot. So we'll do this, the two front feet first, and you're just going to be at this point, and at this point, you're going to be drawing three lines. So one, two, three, and one, two, three, okay? And then we're gonna be doing at that same point, we're gonna be doing these big back feet, those big swimming feet. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, now at the end of all those little lines, you're gonna draw some circles on every single one. So there's three circles there, three circles here, and three circles here, and three circles here. Now you're gonna connect all those and you're just doing a curved line. One, two. And then you're gonna connect these three. You're gonna do one, two. Just a really nice curved line. One, two. And on this one, one, two. Can you see those? They're like fins. That helps him swim. So that's that's the frog. Okay, so now we're gonna be drawing the lily pond that he's in. And what I want you to do is, one of the reasons I wanted you to use the pencil is because we're gonna be erasing some of the lines that are behind, behind um, the pencil. So you're gonna draw a straight line across. Now this is going to be the pond area. So draw a straight line and don't go over the frog's body. Come behind it and then draw another one. Okay? And then we're going to have some plants in the lily pond. and You're just going to be making some little lines like that that are going to represent grass. So you do a curved line and then a curved line down. And you can put some over here. Curved line you can do them any which way you want. They can go this way, but it's just two little curved lines. And then put some cattails in the water. You can just draw some straight lines up, two straight lines up. And then a cattail has a really soft, velvety brown flower like that with a little, little spike on the top. And we'll put two of these cattails in the water here, okay? So another one of these with a little spike, okay? And then we can put a lily in the water since it's a lily pond. We're gonna do a little flower that just do a little smiley face, smiley smile like that. And then you can go make a snake line and then just do two little bumps up and that's gonna be your lily. You can do a little stem if you want. So this is all the water. Okay, so now we're gonna take our markers and we're gonna go over all these lines. And first we're gonna do the frog. So we'll do, um, we'll just go ahead and outline everything in the marker, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just mark everything. All these pencil lines, I'm gonna go all the way over with the with my black marker all the way around the frog's body. And if you miss a pencil line, like I just did, don't worry about it because you can erase it. And then you're gonna just, wherever there's a pencil line, just go over it with your marker. And if I'm going too fast, you can pause, catch up, and then restart. I'm just gonna go over every single pencil line with my marker. Okay. The eyes and all the all the circles, those little parts of a frog that kind of stick up. Okay, and then his legs down here. And all 
of his circles, all his bumps. Okay. Now I'm going probably faster than you are, but don't worry because you can stop and restart. And you might want to watch this a couple times. This, this frog's really cute and he's, he's a fun thing to draw. So now I'm doing his fins. Okay. These are his four feet with his fins. That helps him swim and jump. And his back feet are a lot larger than his front feet. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the water. And the reason it's really good to do this in pencil first is because now you can draw these grasses and you won't have the, you won't have the line, the horizontal line um, going through your plants once we erase it. So do all your cattails and then come back over here and do this grass. Now you can draw the horizontal line straight across. Just don't go over the grass. That's what was so nice about doing it in pencil first. So see, I'm, going, I'm not going over the grass or the cattails. And then here's the lily. And a little stem. And you might want to put a sun here. Okay, so what do you think? Now I'll take off the paper clips, and those paper clips are very handy. And then you take your eraser and just erase all the lines. As soon as your marker, your black marker has dried, make sure that your marker has dried all the way, and then come in here and erase all your lines. Wherever you see a pencil line, and even if you miss some of the pencil line, once you color it with your crayons, the pencil lines won't show up. Okay, so there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one that I've colored. Right here. Okay, of course I colored him green and I gave him some pink and red eyes and I colored the water blue and the cattails are brown and I made the sky blue with a yellow sun. And I put him on a stone, on a, on a, on a rock that's sitting in the, on the pond. So that's something we can draw here, which I didn't do. So just come behind him. And then, and there's your big rock that he's sitting on inside the water. Okay. I also did some little like movements, like water movements around to make it kind of look like water. And you can see those here. See, I just did some little lines. So there you go. I hope you had fun doing that.